She entered the Palouse just another West Side kid, building her own legend within the very walls of the greats before her. Kathy was a fantastic student, really enjoyed it. Um, she, she was a classy cougar too. Before Como, it was KWSU. Before the Berlin Wall, it was Mount St. Helens. Kathy was everywhere, a real reporter, the kind they don't make two of. Como TV did a, I think it was the 20th anniversary of Mount St. Helens. They asked me for some videotape and I had some videotape of Kathy and she hated uh, hated it because she had a she had a ponytail, and she said, "You're not going to show that ponytail." You know, here she's the news anchor at Como, and I said, "Hey, yeah, that's what we had." You know, so we sent it, and she always uh, held me up for that one. She reported like she knew you, yes, you, the audience, all of you, personal doesn't even begin to describe it. She always came back and talked to classes during the Merle Symposium. And she was a great inspiration for everybody. No one knew it when she was at the top of her game, decades in the anchor chair, but a bout with a series of brain tumors would soon take her off the desk. It later took her life. To you, it might just be a building, bricks, walls, windows. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Right. We're very fortunate that she went through WSU and that she was a dedicated coog. But this building, it's a memory, the lasting memory, Gertzen Hall, its namesake, to one of the best there ever was to do it.